great spot. In summer, you've got the water to cool off, you've got the big shady gum trees to stay cool under. It's a great all year camping spot, this one, Taylor's Lake. There's camping grounds, and there's also a secret camping ground. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the secret one as well. Caravans, camper trailers, rooftop tents, swags, you name it. This place, you can camp here. Fishing boats, skiing boats, absolutely everything, all welcome here at Taylor's Lake. So Taylor's Lake is about 20 k's east of Horsham. Really not a far drive at all. So there's camping grounds, and there's also a secret camping ground. Um, I'm going to show you guys the secret one as well, so definitely stay tuned in this video. But the first place we're going to be taking you to is the West Boat Ramp and to the West Campground. I'm on my way there now, I'll show you in a second. Alrighty, don't mind the wind, it is a bit blowy out here. Alright, so we're at Taylor's Lake and we're on the west side. So we do have a nice, big, beautiful boat ramp and a pontoon. Wouldn't recommend fishing from the pontoon, but if you are here, just head south slightly. So here's the main entrance, here's the boat ramp. Just head south along that dirt road and there's a couple of really good, nice sandy banks with plenty of structure. So the lake's been dry a few times and you can see right where that structure is in the water, there's plenty of big cliff drop-offs and obviously the fish just like to hang around there. So if you wanna have a fish, go to the sandy banks and flick out in amongst the sticks or a couple meters further and you'll be in that nice drop-off. So let's go and check out the west side campground. This is the main campground for the place is on the west side. So we'll go check that out and I'll show you guys where you can camp, show you the limited amenities that are here, but still what sort of a great place it is. Fishing boats, skiing boats, absolutely everything. All welcome here at Taylor's Lake. So this is what the amenities consist of, is literally just two long drop toilets, but better than nothing. So they're within close proximity to the camping areas and to the lake, so can't complain at all. As you can see, much more sheltered here in the trees. The wind is so much nicer just when you get in amongst the trees. So it's a great spot to camp. Literally all free camping through here. Fire pit areas, table and chairs, and you got water right there. Like literally fish from your camp under these big, beautiful gum trees. So sheltering you from that blistering Wimmera sun. And if it's a little windy like today, still get out of the wind as well. So because the lake has got camping on both sides available, it's a really great spot because no matter which way you've got the wind coming from, you can put your back to it. So for those that are relatively new to camping, uh, around a river it's not too bad because it's a much more protected. But a lake, you want to make sure you're on the right side of the lake. That can make or break a, a camping trip. Absolutely. So if you're ever looking at going camping and you're camping in a lake, we use the Windy app. Okay, so it's a free download. Jump on there, get the Windy app, have a look at the dates and the times that you're going and see what the wind direction is doing. You do not want the wind blowing into camp off a lake. It'll just absolutely blow everything to pieces because the wind just picks up over the lake. Put your back to it, get in amongst some shelter and it'll be absolutely beautiful like this. All right, let me keep showing you guys around. It really is a great all-weather spot here, in amongst the gums. Uh, if it gets too wet, they soak it right up. And look, the Wimmera doesn't get that any wet anyway, guys. So in winter, 
great spot. In summer, you've got the water to cool off, you've got the big shady gum trees to stay cool under. It's a great all year camping spot, this one, Taylor's Lake. It just doesn't get any better than this, does it? Like when you literally got your camping spot right here, in amongst the trees, you got fire pits, you got table and chairs to sit at, and you've got beautiful water where you can pull the boat right up here. You can hang a line, pull the ski boat up and go fishing. So while there is some structure, you can see here in the water, the structure is all only about 20 or 30 meters out. After that, it's open slather. So it's great ski boat like this one. And for the keen fisheries like myself, there's a canal right up the end towards the Grampian. So as you go south down the lake, there's a canal where the ski boats don't go because there's too much structure, but great for us keen fishermen. So along the west side of the lake is a big man-made rock wall, and there's some structure along there as well. I'm yet to actually experience it, but I've seen many of big cod pulled out of this lake. 90, a metre, touch over a metre, pulled out of this lake most of them along that section there like i said i'm yet to experience it even my wife has outfished me at this lake and look it's not over i will beat her i'm very competitive but there are some big cod in here so that is the west side campground let me scoot around to the east side show you side guys the east side campground and I'll see if we can get access to the beach. If the lake is too high, which it looks very high at the moment, you can't get access to the North Beach. There's a great northern sandy beach. It's absolutely beautiful. It is literally like the beach. It's so sandy and nice. But when the water's this high, you've got to walk. I'm not really feeling like walking today. I might take the drone up there and see how we go just to show you guys. But let's head over to the east side and check out the east side boat ramp. And we'll go from there. And this is what I was talking about, about picking the right side of the lake. You get over here, it is, let me get out of the wind. Get behind this big sign. Now this is what I was talking about, about getting the right side of the lake, guys. You get over here and it's absolutely blowing a gale. There's white caps on top of the water compared to the beautiful other side. So this is the east side boat ramp. Again, a great boat ramp for launching fishing boats or skiing boats. Depends on what you're into. Uh, if you are into skiing, again, guys, make sure you check that windy app because it is a pretty big lake. It blows up pretty bad. Even if you're fishing, check that app to make sure you go to the right side. Now, this is the track I was talking about where I said if the water was too high, we'll be able to Get around to the sandy beach but the water is too high so there's no getting around to the sandy beach now it's blowing an absolute gale i'll try my best to get the drone up and get some footage of it but we might not be able to all righty so i'm trying to fire the drone over here for you guys but i can see the water level is just far too high so you can see here this big cluster of trees though right in front of these big pine trees is a beautiful big sandy beach. So if the water's ever not this high and it's summer, this is a great spot to spend the day here, whether you're camping, fishing, skiing, or just here for a day trip. This is a great sandy beach. Again, check that windy app, because if it's anything like today, you don't want to be on the wrong side of the lake. Again, the facilities here are provided with long drop toilets right there at the water's access. So this being the lake, this is where we come in the first time. I showed you the boat ramp here, right? This is Horsham, we come in around here. Boat ramp where we showed you guys. This is the campground right here. That's where the campground is. I just drove, driven around and now showing you guys here, this side boat ramp there, okay? 
So what I was talking about with the skiing, obviously ski boats do tear this area up, but a great fishing spot is down inside here. Lots of structure in there. So good spot to be fishing. And the place where my wife outfished me with a 50 centimeter yellow belly, I'll mark that on the map here as well, just so she's got a win. Along here. This is where you get that nice sandy bank, you got the structure and you got the rock drop off. Great spot to fish there as well. Also, if you do walk around the lake and go west of where we are now, again, I'll show you on the map. We are here at this boat ramp. If you walk around to this point here, there's another really big rocky ledge drop off. So if the wind's coming, and blowing towards the west. Great spot to sit on there, cast out off that big rocky drop off. You don't need a boat or anything, you can catch all sorts of fish off there. Alrighty, so we've seen the campground, we've seen the boat, two boat ramps. Now we're gonna go and share with you guys our top secret camping location that is away from everyone that really not many people know about. It's a really great spot where you can load the boat, go camping, fishing, skiing, absolutely anything you want. Let me go and show you where it is. If you've come from Horsham, right, and you've driven around and you're here, we now want to drive along this road and enter in about there, which I'll show you guys in a sec. If you've come from the Western Highway, from the east side of the Western Highway, you've come along this road here, come in again, same entrance. It's a great spot. Let's go check it out. All right, so this secret location where we love to go camping here is seasonal, depending on duck season. So please do your due diligence and check out GWN sites around duck season to see when you can and can't go here. But let's go and show you guys this place. You would never know it's here. Just driving along, paddocks, and then there's just a gate, and it just looks like a farmer's gate, but you are allowed in here. This place here is down a long clay driveway through the middle of the paddock. So if it's been a lot of a lot of rain and you've got a big heavy caravan or something like that, this probably isn't gonna be a place I'd recommend. Right, so just right along here is some really great camping spots, literally where you're right on the water absolutely anywhere so we are at the end of winter and what has been a relatively wet winter so there is the water in the lake is absolutely chock a block full like a hundred percent full so the camping grounds aren't as exposed or the nice sandy beaches aren't as exposed but it's still a great spot Again, wrong side of the lake today, blowing an absolute gale. This is why the Windy app is so important, I'm gonna say it yet again, but check out this for a great spot to camp. Guys, trying my best with the drone. It is absolutely blowing a gale, but we've been here a heap of time. So I'm gonna try and find some footage from a previous time that we've been here and be able to show you guys heaps of other footage where we've been jumping off the trees into the water. We've been on out in the water with our dogs. We've been here with friends. I'll try and find some other footage to show it in here just so you can see how great of a place this can be. One when it's not blowing an absolute gale. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be just short, I'm not going to make it back. <laughs> 